Hello, lovelies. So don't mind my hair. Don't mind me in a bathing suit. I was just floating around in the pool. And I'm kind of at this point where there's so many different ideas and there's so many different messages. And I'm in my integration period of my dieta. And there's just so much coming through. And I'm realizing that when I have these things come through and when I have these ideas and when I have these buds of inspiration to just go and express rather than put it on a, you know, a to-do list or put it in my notes and then probably never get back to it, which has been my pattern for so long. And so I'm like, okay, if an idea is coming, we're just going to go and express it and put it into form so that the energy is in, in motion. So don't mind me, <laughs> my attire and my hair, not trying to get my, um, my hair um, wet. So what was coming through today was something that came to me actually in my first ceremony. But then I was talking with a friend this morning and we were just discussing how this is just the most important part to literally anything. And it's so obvious and so like um, talked about that it kind of gets missed or it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or there's like, okay, well, how are we going to do that? And that's just the connection with yourself. And so it's kind of one of those things that like before you do anything and for life to flow and for like any of the actions that you take, because any action is based in consciousness. And so the actions that you take, the results that you get are from the energy that you start it with. So like the seed of the energy that you're starting it with and putting it into momentum. And then that with the law of cause and effect will directly um, create an effect based on the energy that it's going out in. So if you're taking action based on fear, if you're taking action based on doubt, any of those things, then that's just what you'll get back because everything's a mirror. And so really the basis of it all is to be coming from a connected state. And so in my first ceremony, that was basically all it was telling me. There was definitely more than, <laughs> than that, but a huge part, like a huge takeaway that I got was that the foundation to literally anything is the connection that you have with yourself and your spirit. So coming from spirit, because everything also is existing in the spiritual plane and we're our spirits and then just manifesting in the physical plane. And so actually getting that connection solidified in that foundation is when you take the action, which is only the 5%, that's going to give you the result, or that's going to make you feel a certain way. And yeah, it's just coming through so deeply that that is the most important part to anything and like to your happiness, like take out any of the masculine results oriented um, goals or anything like that. It's like, okay, just to feel expansion and to feel joy and to feel happiness, like that comes from the connection that you have with yourself. Um, and so that's just really coming through. And yeah. And then we were talking about like the different ways that you can create that foundation and that you can get that connection with yourself and like how to actually implement that. And just an idea that is just flowing through my head right now. It's like every day or like think of yourself like a cell phone, like you have to charge, you have to like put yourself and charge yourself up, right? Like connect yourself to the power to charge up the cell phone. So that's like the connection that you have with yourself. And then throughout the day, maybe like your ego comes in or different things kind of like lose you, put, put you off track because we are humans having a spiritual experience. So we ha do have an ego, which we can work with and which we can like, you know, there can be a really um, beneficial relationship that we have with that. Um, but things will come up and th you'll, you'll forget about the connection. It's not like, okay, oh, we're connected and that's all that we need to do. It's like an everyday thing. So the battery is kind of like going or something like triggers you and you go back. And then it's like, you need to replug yourself back in and charge yourself up. And so that's like an everyday thing. And sometimes I know, like, especially at the beginning too, like in developing that connection, it's like a multiple times a day kind of thing. Like I know for me, it's a multiple times a day kind of thing. Like definitely in the morning that's essential and then throughout the day it will be like a, okay let's like plug it in let's like recharge let's like get that connection back because yeah that's just where everything flows and that's where like everything starts to align and work out is from you keep charging yourself so that you're not depleted and then 
kind of walking around with no charge and no energy and no connection. And not that you don't have connection, you're always connected, but the connection may be, you, you might, you might not feel the connection, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, so we were talking about like different ways that you can get connected. And I know for me right now, like, um, part of my practice or a big part of my practice is my cacao in the morning to connect me with my heart, to open my heart. I do a breath work in the morning, every single morning to let's make sure that this is recording. Yeah, it's recording. <laughs> That'd be so sad. Um, to um, release any of the energies, because what I'm finding lately is that my dreams have been super vivid and there's a lot coming up in my dream state. And so in the mornings, I'll need to like cleanse that showers. Amazing for cleansing the energy. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I go and do my journaling and with my journaling, it's kind of at the first, like a brain dump. And then it's writing down what I'm grateful for. And then it's writing down what I'm choosing for today. Like I'm choosing happiness. I'm choosing joy. I'm choosing playfulness and then allowing myself to actually feel it because nothing actually works. If you're just writing things down, you need the intention plus the emotion and the higher the emotion, the more potent the intention can like send the signal. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, that's what's working for me. And then for my friend, um, it was, what did he say it was? It was going out for a walk in nature. It was also journaling. Um, pretty sure it was a meditation. I don't know. The point being that it can be so many different things. And then he was also saying that one of the things that he was doing in the past just wasn't resonating anymore. And that now he's shifting it. And he's like, okay, that's not really like feeling good. And that's something that I'm having to cross off a to-do list what feels good for me. And so I think sometimes like we want, um, a like step-by-step -step plan of how to get connected. And I think the reality is, is that it's a lot more individualized and it's a lot more personalized and it fluctuates and there's different seasons where you're ne needing different things. And so it's a thing of kind of like testing and playing and seeing different ideas. So definitely looking at the things that are like a step-by-step -step and, not just following it because someone said to follow it, but being like, mm, what actually resonates with me? And what do I feel like uh, expansion towards that I want to implement? And then doing that. And also keeping in mind, now that I'm saying this, there's also going to be patterns, especially at the beginning, where your old self is not going to want to um, or your ego is not going to want to like do this and create that connection and change your behavior from the old habitual ways. And I think it's also worth noting that, and I always say to my clients too, kind of expect at the beginning that you're going to have that resistance. And so I think it's, everything is super nuanced, but I think it's feeling what you feel a pull towards and also expecting that your old patterns are going to try to keep you small and going to try to keep you stuck and going to try to just keep you in the familiar and doing what you're doing. So also recognize that. It's always when I'm like saying these things that I'm like, I can see the other side and I can see the nuance. So I just want to point that out too, because then it's like, you can be doing these things and being like, oh, she said there is supposed to be like a pull and like a magnetism. And I'm like not feeling that. I'm feeling really resistant. And so just being cognizant of like, yeah, at the beginning, you are going to feel resistant, maybe, and expect that and do it anyway until it becomes something where you're like, you kind of like know the difference between what's actually good for me and good for my higher self and what's like keeping me stuck. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And so I just kind of felt like sharing that because I think it's so important and so easy. And so like, that is where alignment really comes from. And that is where flow comes from. And that is where everything just moving in a way that feels like, what? I didn't know that this was possible comes from. And that's really that connection that you have with yourself and that like connection, especially with your uh, spiritual self and like just being really clear energetically because then you're not confused. You're not like stuck in your mind and like all of these different things. And then like, she said this and she said this and should I do this? And I don't know about this. It's like, you're clear and you're grounded and you're present. And then all you have to do is just 
listen to the intuition coming through because it's always coming through and you are always connected. Just sometimes there's distortions and there's patterns and there's things in the way, which is also where like breath work and all of these different modalities come in to just clear that away so that you become like a clear channel and then you're connected. And then you do the practices that keep you connected and then you just take the aligned action from those messages and from that place rather than it coming from a place of fear rather than it coming from a place of doubt indecision like confusion it's just you're coming from a place of authenticity and groundedness and presence and connectedness and yeah. And also like when we talk about last thing I'm going to say about this <laughs> is, um, you know, your frequency is your currency and your frequency is the most important thing. And so when you are coming from a place of authenticity, that is the highest frequency and authenticity is a direct connection with spirit, with your spirit. And so when you're coming from that place and when you're embodying that frequency, and then you're taking the aligned action based on that, you are powerful. Anyways, that is what was coming through today that I wanted to share. And yeah, I'm sending you so much love, love, love. Mm -hmm.